my name is Sander van Bussel. I'm a community artist, a social designer, and I work under the name of Tilburg Cowboys. So this is us. You saw us when you came in, I suppose. But I'm a craftsman as well. I'm trained to work with my hands. I own a lot of stuff. I repair the stuff, my bikes, my motorbikes, my car, my house, the toys of my children, and I collect a lot of stuff. It's not as bad as this looks like, but I'll tell you, my house is crowded. <laughs> so a few years ago, it was time to, to clean up a little bit, you know. So I took my stuff to the flea market, and I tried try to sell my stuff, of course. I brought a radio and I tried to sell it for 20 euros, and the maximum people were willing to pay was two. Yeah, it hurt me. It felt like an insult, because the economic value, of course, is two euros, but the 90% is emotional value. So it told me I couldn't sell the radio, because I would throw away the 90%. So I kept the radio, I brought it back, like most of the stuff I bought, to. Uh, to the flea market, or well, took it back in my van. And I still own it, and the objects are still telling the story because of it's actually present in the world. So today, when you came in, we asked people, are you willing to swap your belongings, like your coat, your jacket, your bag, or whatever you had on you, for a brand new one, like exactly the same, same everything, but new. And it surprised me, a lot of people told me, oh yes, yes, great, please. And we're gonna throw away the old one. Okay. That's strange, because you're throwing away the 90%, and you're replacing it by a replica. It's not the real one, it's, it's a replica. It's, it's not the object that tells the story. It may look like it, but it's not. So after the experience of the flea market, I felt there was a Tilburg Cowboys project coming up. Because we like to work in the middle of society. Uh, we like to question behavior, look at behavior, and to come up with some r new rules, trying to provoke new things. Um, how do I explain? Like, if you add new rules, you'll get new behavior and maybe some new thoughts, and, and maybe, maybe try to change some things after all. So we went back to the flea market as Tilburg Cowboys, and we tried to buy the stuff with emotional value. Like if you, like just before the flea market ends, there's a lot of stuff nobody wants to buy. Like old shoes, broken Game Boys, that, that sort of stuff we bought. Uh, well, it didn't cost us much, and um, but we asked the story behind it and wrote it down to prevent the emotional value to get lost. So we connected the object and the story so to preserve it. And then we had our own flea market in the museum. We sold the stuff again for the economic value, which is two euros for a radio. But people had to sign adoption papers <laughs> because they got the story with it, it's connected to it, and they actually had to sign for the rest of their life to keep the story and the object connected. Even if they try to pass it on, sell it, promise you'll give it the story with it, and actually the story will get longer that way too. So for all those objects that nobody wanted to buy in the flea market, we had this own flea market in the museum in Tilburg, and it was sold within 10 minutes. I'm not sure why, maybe it's because it looks like art in a museum, but I'm not sure. But it's not that different actually, art is just objects with added value, and that's what we did, we did added value. And I know we're living in a new economy of sharing things, not owning things, we're using each other's cars, uh, bikes, even even our ch each other's houses, beds, Airbnb, and but the stuff you use, like that's a user perspective. 
It's a consumer perspective. You don't own that stuff. And stuff is only protected, or maybe best protected, by, st by the people who own it. Because you're not a Facebook owner. You don't own your profile. You use it. And if you are mixing with the rules, the system will kick you out. It's not yours. It's not protected. It's gone. It happened to me last week. Yeah, I didn't think that was funny at all, actually. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> where's, where's my, all my posts? We just assume it's all there, the Facebook, to use. But if you are really, really want to take care of your stuff, you have to own it. So I want to um, think about what is yours, what is the stuff you own, the stuff you want to take care of, and what will be your personal heritage. Because the good thing about the material world, instead of the digital world, is that it is limited. Your, the wall in your house is not as big as your Facebook wall. And that's good. Because you actually have to choose what to show, what to talk about. It's not everything, like everything is too much. Like You have to make decision what is important. So, in the break, would like to invite you back with your bags, your jackets, and we'll determine what is real emotional value and what is not. What is personal heritage and what is not. Okay, thank you. <laughs>